Dropping a powder is one of the worst things ever. If you drop it on a hard surface, you pray to the makeup gods that it did not shatter. But if it does, I'm going to show you a way how to fix this so that you don't have to throw out your powder and you can just reverse it. Let's get started. All right, so take this powder. I'm using a gosh one today that I dropped and I'm not going to reverse this with tears, but I am going to use some simple tricks to do this. So you're going to clean out your case and make sure that it is somewhat dry before you start. Once you have cleaned out your makeup container, you're going to need a few tools. I'm using a butter knife or some sort of um, tool to spread your makeup, rubbing alcohol that you can pick up at your local drugstore, and a clean Ziploc bag so that you can store your makeup in it. You are also going to need paper towel to soak up any of the extra rubbing alcohol and to wipe away any of the extras on the side of your makeup container. The first thing that you're going to need is your Ziploc bag and you're going to take all of your broken makeup and you're going to take a spoon or some sort of butter knife and scrape out all of that stuff that stayed in and just kind of empty it into your Ziploc bag. You're going to clean your container out and take the makeup in your Ziploc bag and kind of crush it up as much as you can from the outside and just kind of keep crushing until it's kind of in a powder form. You're going to break up all those extra pieces. Once you've crushed up all of your extra makeup and you've cleaned out your container, put all of that powder makeup into your clean bowl and just kind of throw it all in and recycle that bag that you don't need anymore. Now you're going to take a spoon and your rubbing alcohol that you picked up at your local drugstore and you're just going to put about um, a couple teaspoons in, put less in first and then you can mix it up and you can always add more. Remember that you kind of can't take it away, just kind of keep adding to it and just until it's the right consistency. Just see what I have here, it's kind of, you're trying to make a paste and don't worry if you put too much in because it will evaporate but you really just want to put in a little bit at a time and mix it up as you go. So mix your powder into a paste. Make sure that all the clumps are gone and that it is a smooth consistency. Once you are finished making your makeup paste, put that aside and get your clean container. Put your container on a hard surface and you're going to get the bowl and just kind of empty your makeup into the container. Once you have all your makeup into the container, take your spoon or your butter knife or whatever you're using to spread it around and just kind of try to get it into all of the grooves and areas of your container. So spread your makeup around. This is kind of like icing a cake in a really weird way. Um, it's a weird consistency so it's going to stick to whatever item you have. Um, but really try to work that into each area so that you can smooth it out a little bit more. Take as much time as you need to do this. You are trying to get it as flat as you can. I like to use the spoon first to put the makeup into the container and then I get the butter knife to kind of spread it around and to get all the areas of the container and kind of smooth it out. After you've used your butter knife um, to get it as flat as you can, you're going to take paper towel and you're going to put it right on top of the actual makeup and you're going to soak up the extra rubbing alcohol. And you're going to use something with a flat surface just to kind of press it down to make it soak up a little bit more. And this paper towel actually has little bumps in it and little designs and it actually makes a really cool design on the makeup as you can see. So just peel this paper towel away slowly and you can see what you have here. And you're just gonna wipe away the extra sides, um, the overflow from the paper towel. Now you're gonna set your timer to 12 hours. This will let the rubbing alcohol evaporate and the finished product will be powder again. If you have a special night and you need this product right away. You can use a hair dryer to make this process go quicker. Once your powder is set for 12 hours, it is good as new and you can use it and it is perfect and your heart will no longer be broken. So thank you so much for watching. This is simple ways to fix broken powders. You can use this on eyeshadows, any sort of powder for makeup. Thank you so much for watching 
and have a great day. I'll see you next week, guys. Bye.